guys, welcome to the DMX Show. I'm your host Shane, and today I wanted to show you guys uh, the Apex 2.0.0 uh, Release Candidate 3 ROM from Big Xy. Uh, it is one of my favorites. It's one of two uh, ROMs available for the .602 kernel. Uh, currently, CM7 is being worked on. It's still in beta, uh, so I'm not going to show you guys that just yet, but hopefully we'll see some good things coming from the CM7 uh, team. I, I believe Rev Numbers, the one who's working on that. Uh, but that should help us on battery life for second in it ROMs. Uh, but for today I'm going to show you guys Apex. It's incredibly fast. Uh, but we'll get into the installation instructions. Prerequisite for this ROM is that you need to be on point six oh two and you need to be rooted. You also need to be on the latest baseband of point thirteen P and uh, you will install it via Droid 2 Bootstrapper, so you'll need to have that installed as well. Uh, Big XC has also, um, let's see, Big XC has also developed an all-in-one updater for this ROM as well. Uh, so you can actually flash that from any Froyo ROM, including the CM7 ROMs. Uh, that includes CM7, MIUI, uh, SSX, or Liquid. Coming from the you know the second edit ROM, you can just flash that all in one updater directly over that, and you will be at Apex on the .602 version of Gingerbread. You can get both of those ROMs of Apex and the all in one updater from the link in the description. Uh, right now, I'm going to show you how to update coming from 602 rooted. So you'll go into Droid 2 Bootstrapper and you will click bootstrap recovery and click OK and then reboot recovery now the all-in-one update uh, will update you to 4.5.602 and install Apex all in one swoop if you're coming from Froyo that way you don't have to upgrade and root your phone So I already have it installed here. You can see this is the boot logo. Uh, we're going to go into Wipe Data Factory Reset and then you will go down to Yes, Delete All User Data. I'm not actually going to do that now because I've already done it. And then, of course, you want to go into Wipe Cache. If you've already installed one of these ROMs and you already know what to do, uh, so you can skip to my quick review. Select yes, wipe cache. Let that do its thing. And then you're going to want to go down to advanced and wipe Dalvik cache. And once that's finished, you'll go back. And then the next thing you want to do is go down to install zip from SD card and choose zip from SD card. Now because this ROM is built from source, it does not come with the regular Google Apps. You will have to download the gapps.zip which I will include in the link in the description so find first find the ROM it's fabulous apex 2.0.0 release candidate 3.zip or if you're doing the all-in-one from Froyo it'll have an AIO at the end of it uh, so you will select that and then go down to yes install after about five minutes it will be installed and it'll tell you that it's complete down here at the bottom uh, so then you will go back at that point and choose it from SD card without rebooting and you'll find your gapps.zip this way you will have your your Google Maps your navigation you'll have your Gmail um, so you'll select gapps and yes install gapps anyways once those two finish installing you will go back and click reboot system now see so your Google logo because this is an AOSP style ROM it's totally built from source then you'll get your Apex boot animation So this Apex ROM does not have all the customization features that the CM7 style ROMs have. 
Uh, but it does have all your standard modifications such as your uh, CRT screen off and 10% battery mod. And of course he does have a toolbox uh, with lots of modifications coming and this app will be themed in the future. He's got some themes that are coming out. But what you're looking for in Apex is not all about the customization. Uh, you're looking for speed, performance, and battery life. And as soon as it boots up here, I'm going to show you just a couple of the neat features of this ROM. You click the menu. Okay, you see it has the AOSP lock screen there. Uh, click menu, wallpaper. Let's see here. Let's go back home, click menu, and wallpaper. And you have your Apex wallpapers there. It's uh, If you've ever had Apex on your phone, then it's really nothing new here. Uh, all the standard Apex wallpapers are there. So you see that it's very fast. Uh, it comes with Launcher 2 as the launcher. I've got ADWX on here as my launcher because that's what I prefer. Um, but you can see just how incredibly fast it is. Uh, all the bloatware has been removed from 602. And of course they have modified it and edited the build.prop to make it a whole lot quicker here. Um, and then of course the battery life is much improved on the 602 stock. Uh, like I said there's a lot more coming for this ROM. He has included here a terminal emulator application uh, which you'll be able to run commands in. Uh, also, if you go to the link in the description, there are downloadable APKs, which you would install like any other APK, um, that helps you to install the blur applications that you might want back on here. One that I will be putting on here is the blur gallery so that I can use the HDMI out port. Um, that's one that you will definitely need there. Um, let's see, there's also dev tools and spare parts in here as well. Uh, we'll go to spare parts and look at that real quick in case you don't know what that is. And you have your battery history, battery information, usage statistics, and you can change the window animation speed and transition animation speed, uh, font size, and haptic feedback compatibility mode. Those are all changeable there. Guys, this is kind of a basic, simple ROM, uh, but it will make your phone a whole lot more enjoyable and uh, at least while we wait on the CM7 to be ported to Gingerbread and uh, at least you can have a phone for a complete day because your battery will last you uh, unlike the second Enit ROMs. Guys, uh, go ahead and subscribe if you like the videos. Follow me on Twitter at DroidModerX. Also visit DroidModerX.com for all the latest in ROMs, mods, and hacks for your Droid X and soon we will be covering the Droid Bionic as well um, and other phones in the future. Uh, guys, thanks for watching.